afternoon traders. This is Eli, Senior Market Strategist with Arger Futures in Chicago, November 12 here, uh, 2.27 Central Time, covering the precious metal market. I have a chart of gold in front of me here. This is our Arger Futures Pro platform, uh, one of the robust platform for trading futures. And I'm um, hovering over the gold market here, down a dollar ninety. Um, the low is at ten seventy three. And if you just look at the chart, you know, for long term chart, I've been, you know, I've had this chart on for a long time, just kind of show you the progression of these the market. Um, so uh, we've got a double bottom situation going on here from the July two thousand fifteen low, and uh, this. Uh, candlestick that's forming here uh, we've got a spinning top coming into it uh, yeah, and this is the hammer uh, basically hammering it out here and uh, yeah, we should be able to see here at some point here if this holds right here that we should be able to see uh, follow through to the upside uh, candle stick chart formations are effective on a daily and on a weekly chart um, and uh, so that's what we're looking at right now so you know the fundamentals are operating the world gold council uh, suggested that the demand for a third quarter uh, in the third quarter is up by about eight uh, percent so the physical demand is up for jewelry as such uh, but the futures are in a protracted uh, downtrend here, and uh, we'll just see if we're going to get a get a pop here, a break out of this area, uh, you know, test this uh, resistance area around eleven eighteen or so. Uh, next week is the FOMC announcement. If you look at the economic calendar, uh, that's where they expect to announce uh, potential uh, rate hike. Uh, these markets are forward looking, so I would assume that. Uh, all of that is probably factored in by now, uh, some somewhere around a uh, quarter point uh, rate hike, uh, and uh, we have should have seasonal demand coming into here as well uh, into the into the Christmas season. So uh, here in U.S., so overall, I think uh, I think this this probably is uh, these type of uh, candlestick formation is an indication that uh, uh, the, the the downtrend uh, probably is coming to an end at least for now. Uh, so we'll watch and see what happens and uh, see if the market is going to retest that psychological level broke off of the 1100 area um, and maybe go uh, past that so i'm going to keep you posted um it'll be interesting to see what what the fed will say next week uh for now um we'll just uh, wait and see and that's what these chart formations are telling us and uh, i'll keep you posted uh, good luck and good trading investors